Now this is what I want my final report to look like. Header on it, June, week one, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So I made a, a generator function for the days of the week. I called it dx. I defined it. All it says is yield, slash t, the tab, and the day of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I also defined a generator function for the month, June, week one. It'll just yield up June, colon, week one. But wouldn't it be nice if, after it yields up June, week one, that it calls this generator function? That would be nice. Until it finally all gets printed out nice and neat. I'd like that. How would I go about doing that? Well, first, I'd have to pass the name of the function that does the printing out of the days to my month generator function. All right, and I'll put that into a variable called df. And what else would I have to do? Well, then I'd have to loop through this function that yields the days. I'd have to loop through that with a for loop and yield up each one of these guys. All right. I wonder why I would have to yield them up. Didn't I yield them up already before in the uh, previous file? Yes, I did. Huh. Well, we'll talk about that in a moment. Okay, great. I've got my two generator functions. Uh, one is the month generator function that's going to print out June week one. It's called MX. It'll yield June week one. And then it'll also perform another function calling the day generator function. That's in the variable df. For x and df, this many times, it'll perform this loop. All right, it'll yield x. Hmm, let's see what that means. Okay, well, how do I call the month generator function, mx, and how do I print all this out? I mean, I, I see lots of yield statements, but no print statements. And let's solve these questions in one function here. Uh, by the one loop, I should say. For x and mx, well, here's the call to the month generator function. And then I pass it the name of the day generator function, dx, open, close, parens. That'll get caught in that variable df. And I'm going to do all of this in a loop. For x and mx, and I pass it the dx function's name. And print them out as they are yielded back down the line. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Well, we'll find out in a second. How? Well, let's step through this program and see how it does this. Well, here's where we start. MX is called and passed DX. So the system goes to the MX generator function and passes it DX, which is caught here on the DF variable. And the first thing it does is it yields this string. Well, as soon as it runs into a yield, now it has to do the following. It must go back to the previous call, to MX, to whatever line that is that called MX, and then go down one line and execute that statement. So it goes back to the function call, the MX. Here's the previous call. And then it goes down to the next line and prints out the yield, which is that string, that is now an X. So I passed it back to this X, and June, week one, gets printed out. Now immediately, it returns back to the line following the yield. This guy here, and executes it, which is our loop for X and DF. For each X in DX, the DX function, which is stored here in the DF variable, it'll iterate, iterate that many times. All right, so it calls the DF function right here. On this spot here. And here's the dx function. The dx generator function, all yields, of course, and it's got, it's going to yield a tab and the name of the day of the week. Tab Monday, tab Tuesday, tab Wednesday. Well, right now we're on tab Sunday. A yield, and then whatever data follows it, means stop. Go back to the previous call and execute the next line following the call to this dx generator function. Okay, so he grabs the tab and Sunday and goes back. Well, there's our MX function, which called DF right there. 
Q was the call to DX in the variable DF, of course. And he goes down one line, slash T sun is put into the a, into X and yielded back to the previous call. So X slash T sun is put into here now. Now we got an, another yield statement. And the yield statement means go back to the previous function that called that function. Well, wait a minute. Who called MX? Well, this guy called him. So he comes back over to here. And this is where the call was, was made to MX, passing it DX. Here's the previous call. Okay. And the X is put into here. And here's the next line following it. Slash T sun is now in here and gets printed out. And it looks like this now. June, week one, Sunday. Well, it comes back, returns back to, uh, to do the next F in DF. He goes down to the line following the yield. There is none. He loops back over to here. Here's the next line to execute. He goes back to do the next X in the uh, DF variable that contains the DX function name. So he goes there, and he goes to the next line, which is yield slash t Monday. Well, the yield is going to take him back to the previous function that called this guy. That's mx. And there's the function call. And he goes to the line following that, slash t Monday is put into that x. And yielded back to the previous call. Let's go there now. So here's the previous call, and here's the next line following it. Slash T Monday is now in here, and he gets printed out. And now you've got June week one, Sunday, and Monday. And as you can see, this is line by line going to print out every single one of those items. This process repeats till all of this week gets printed out. This is George Bull. Now I'm feeling my way through these pipeline generators right now. They are a tough read, to be sure. So any feedback you want to leave is appreciated and will be read. Good luck now.